Going to the Colorado Gator Farm is more than just a tourist attraction for Christina Marquez and her family. I was wanting to cry because it was, you know, something that we've done for so long. For the last 25 years, it's been a summer tradition. Like they were our family also. You know, they kind of just made that environment to where everybody was welcome and doesn't matter where you're from. Marquez says she's saddened to hear that around 435 on Tuesday morning, a fire broke out inside the Colorado Gator Reptile Sanctuary. Hoping they can get rebuilt and, you know, everything works out good and, you know, seems like a lot was lost, but then a lot, you know, was also saved. The Alamosa County Sheriff's Office says the fire was contained to one large building. No people were hurt, but most of the rescued snakes, lizards, tortoises, parrots, and cats were killed in the fire, according to a post on the Colorado Gator Farm's Facebook page. Three dwarf caiman and several turtles were rescued by the Moscow Hooper Fire Department. All of the alligators and crocodiles outside of the building are okay, as well as the animals in the fish building. I'm hoping, you know, it wasn't too much and, you know, there's people everywhere that's willing to help. Marquez says she has memories at the gator farm from when she was just six years old, the same age as her daughter now, who also loves to see all the reptiles and animals. Hopefully this summer when we go, we're able to see them again. She says they're not giving up hope that they can continue sharing this special tradition with their family. We love you guys and, you know, let's see, you know, how everybody can help. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but no foul play is suspected. The Colorado Gator Farm posted a GoFundMe to their Facebook page, hoping to receive donations to rebuild their reptile sanctuary. Mark Young, who organized the fundraiser, said online that their family has rescued close to 1,000 orphan animals over the last 40 years. Known place, especially in that part of the state. Thank you, Courtney.